So Conor, obviously a week on from, from last weekend's result. How's this week been in training? Yeah, been positive. Uh, obviously, we're, we're all disappointed with the result last Saturday, but um, we know how Halifax had it. I said it to you in the pre-match interview last week. They're tough to break down. They'll, they'll make it difficult, and they've done that. I think we, we dominated the game for the most part. Didn't create enough clear-cut chances, but definitely had the, the better of the game. Um, so we're unfortunate to lose. A uh, point might be fair, if not a win for us. So that's the way football goes. It's tough. Every game's tough at this level, so we'll move on to this week, and obviously be no different tomorrow in terms of how difficult tomorrow's going to be. Yeah, I guess last weekend's result sort of shows how competitive this league can be at times. Yeah, of course. Listen, he's a great manager. I said that to you again. As I said in the pre-match last week, he makes it tough and he's done the exact same. So, never an easy place to go. So, fair play to them. And we've obviously got to dust ourselves down and try and move on and pick up three points tomorrow. Yeah, and obviously tomorrow's opponents are absolutely... What, what kind of opposition do you think they're going to bring to the table? Uh, listen, good manager. Uh, I, I wouldn't read too much into last week's result. I think Gator and a day can do that to most teams at this level. So... Um, I know it's the first game of the season, obviously it'll be a shock to their system to lose 5-1 on the opening day, but as I said, Gates had an excellent side and sometimes you can have days like that. Uh, back end of last season, they were one of the informed teams when he, when he got the job, so we've done a great job to keep them safe. They are in a precarious position when he took over, so good manager for the level, makes them tough to beat and they play some good football as well, so it was another tough, tough test and another tough place to go. Yeah, like you said, obviously they, they had a heavy defeat last Saturday at Gateshead, so obviously they'll be looking for an instant response when they have the home turf. Yeah, of course, listen, it's it's always probably a bad time to play someone out they've just been whacked. So to, to lose 5-1, whether he'll bat in the hatches down, whether he'll stick to his philosophy, who knows? So we've obviously got to be ready for both and we'll, we'll do that. But listen, they'll come out fighting now. I'm sure they've had words throughout the week uh, within their own camp. So that always gives them an extra impetus as well. So it's never an easy easy game to play teams out they've lost heavy. So we'll have to keep our guard up and go and try to get three points. Yeah, and like you said, obviously tomorrow's a chance to put things right for ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Listen, we lost as well, so they're probably thinking the same thing. They probably don't want to play us off the back of a defeat. So, two teams that have obviously lost in the opening day, um, and obviously both of us will probably be aiming for three points, especially them in front of the home fans, but we'll be looking to go there. We've got a game plan in place, and we'll be hopeful to take three points home. Cheers. Cheers, guys.